Let's see what we get. I kind of wish actually... Ooh. Hi. Like the look of this. Uh, it's... Let me think. Yeah, we're... We're gonna... We're gonna go back. Let's decurse that. That's not really that helpful. Decurse... Nope, that doesn't decurse anything. Um, decurse that one? Just in retrospect, that doesn't make as much of a difference as I'd like. Okay, this will convert something over. Unfortunately, everything here is worth money. Except for this cloth, actually. Okay, cloth is good. We also have another converter. We also have something that will send things home. Let's send these home. A couple of things that will send stuff home. Okay, cool. Uh, wish I could decurse more. Okay. We got that transforming. We've got that transforming. Nothing else is breaking. Cool. I'm still pretty loaded on HP. What I could do if I absolutely wanted to. Just, oh, that's worth a lot. This is worth less. Oh, let's see, those are 5,000 piece. I, deciding what to, what stays and what goes is significantly harder at this point. And yeah, I can't do that anymore. Let's see, and we're only on the second floor. We could, we could portal back for once. Yeah, it's early enough that using using the portal at this point is a good idea. I missed the other chest. Oh, did I? Oh yeah, I never did open it. Okay, well let's hope that sticks around. Oh, this makes life harder. Okay, send the pipes back. Everything is transforming everything else into themselves. This is awkward. I might actually get rid of some of these. But yes, thanks for pointing this out, guys. I would have missed this. Possibly. Got more transfer transformative wiggle woos. Uh, let's see. I have a thing I can send home. I should probably just... No, 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 no. I've got soldering irons. Resistant glass is worth 5,000. This is only worth 3,000. Nope, that doesn't... I was hoping for more decurse. Magnetic... What's it? Uh, let's get rid of this. Okay, and that gives me enough space for the, the rest. Okay, let's, let's just climb. And good. My teleport gate is still here. Even if it kind of bugged out a little bit, but that's fine. Go to town. I'm... and awesome! We get all of our bits back. So let's just load this up. Uh, let's see. With where, whatever. We never found out what these are worth. Alright. 5,000. Is this 5,000? That's 5,000. That's 5,000 is too cheap for this. Let's go 7,500? If that's too cheap, then I don't know. Are these only worth 3,000? Yeah, okay. I think I might actually have, um... I think I might actually have her run the shop for the day. Maybe? I'll load the display cases. It would be possibly... Yeah. No. Yeah. Okay, so we want to go over here. I don't need any of... <laughs> I really don't need most of this stuff at this point. But I'm going to keep hoarding it because I can. 
Let's see. I want to see the bank guy. Yes. I do want to see the bank guy today. Put these off. Fire gems, these things. Okay. I have so much money. Let's see. So none of these are worth that little. I can just keep kind of loading this up. Still don't entirely know what to sell those for. Okay, there we go. I've got a couple of pipes. You know what? Let's pull these back. If I can sell more there. Okay. Do I have any... That's resistant glass. Cool. Which sells for 5,000? Yeah, 5,000 is a fair price on that. And insulating dust. Chests are full. Everything is queued to sell. Except for the pipes here. I've only got three of them. Do I have anything better? I guess I could just sell the cloth dye. It sells for a bit more. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna put those there. I don't think she will pull from the chests, but I'd rather make the money. Can I, there we go. Talk, high wills, sell some of your items, take 30%, you'll be free to battle in the dungeons. Um, uh-oh. Uh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, come on! Are you... Are you serious? This might also be why I'm really hard on this game. Is because... Shit like this is still in the game and this game launches in two days. When did the game last save? I think when I popped out of the portal. I think the portal's still gonna be there. If it doesn't, I, I don't know. Are you? Okay, so we haven't lost anything, but this is stupid. It changed to keyboard. No, it didn't change to keyboard. It changed to nothing. It just, it just broke. That most definitely is not a switch control scheme situation. That is most definitely a whoopsie doodle. This game's a buggy mess. I mean, luckily it's not that much of a set setback, but I'm just like... <sighs> it did not progress much since last summer. That's a fancy bed. Okay, so this time, which chest was it? Uh, the hell? Okay, so it worked that time, but all my items are gone. Unless they're in this one. Because, yeah. Yeah, that and an entire chest full of items disappeared on me. <sighs> I'm not going to lie, I'm a little mad. Poof. It might actually still be there, but yeah, I moved... Did I move the broken battery? I don't actually know if I moved the broken battery. Uh, 
Well, it certainly makes managing my inventory easier. Well, I guess I'll just dump my stuff. Yeah, everything that was in the uh, sale box, everything that was in that chest is just gone. Portal's still there, so I can go back in. I'm gonna go double check. But I think it just deleted the entire contents of one of these chests. Yep. Thanks. I'll just talk to the banker while we're here. So... The first day you lose some money, the second day you gain 5% up. So we really just want to hold on to money. I guess what you really want to do is invest a ton, I guess. I guess I'm going to go grab uh, another healing potion or something. I've certainly got the money for it. And we're just going to full speed ahead to the bottom of the dungeon and see if I can beat it. If I can't beat it, oh well life. Ah, oh, do I get a bunch of these? Yeah. I'd rather get the uh, more expensive potions at this point. I really wish you could make multiple of these. It's kind of dumb that you can't. It's like, could I, could I just make all? Make X? Make 10? It's a pretty rough bug. Yeah, that was probably 100, 200,000 worth of gold. I mean, I could very easily give it to myself. Uh, and just be like, screw you, game. I'm as rich as I want to be. But it... It kills the enthusiasm. Kind of like those slimes. You know they're coming. And then when they hit you, you can't help but be offended that it happened. I feel like bird. Okay, whatever. We'll be fine. Oh, right, I forgot this resets all, all of the enemy placement, too. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. I, I can just kill things. Okay, now... Oh, right, I forgot. Also using the portal jacks your, uh, jacks your map up so you can't, uh, so you don't know where you are. Because I can pull up the map and it's like, boo? It has no idea. Alright, uh, we're just gonna head for the, head for the bottom. There's, these are some bugs that should not have made it out of beta. But they did. Somehow. this bow like I I'm still kind of curious what would happen if I had a much better bow than this one let's see do the rooms also reset oh does the challenge room also reset I don't know but I don't care I wonder there's some really cool roguelikes on Kickstarter right now that will be amazing if they deliver yes I actually I have access to the stone stone shard demo which I guess everybody does it's just open to everybody. That's an that's that's one of those roguelikes that I'm really looking forward to. I haven't heard of Pixel Pl Princess Blitz or Rogue Heroes. Um, I'll probably check them out. But, oh, right. Problem is, I don't kickstart games that much anymore. Part of it is so I'm getting bigger on YouTube, um, and Twitch and stuff, and this is gonna sound mercenary in kind of a bad way um but practically every game that i have kickstarted in the past um uh past while has without even asking uh or without me even asking has just decided to be real kind and send me their game so i just have a spare copy of moonlighter that i'm probably going to throw it a, a youtuber or something um
Uh, let's see, I'm gonna try and stay away from. There we go. They're gone. Um, and like, I didn't even have to ask for it. The publisher was just like, "Yeah, do you, you wanna do you want a copy of Moonlighter?" And I'm like, "Oh, okay, I already have one, but sure, why not?" Um, and like, it makes my life a lot easier, but it also means like, I really shouldn't kickstart things, period, because I'm effectively wasting my own money. Uh, to support developers, yeah, but at that point, I'd rather. Um, I usually only kickstart games that are doing well, and maybe I should chuck... I don't know. Really... I don't know what to do. I'll probably just buy games on, on sale and hand them out to YouTubers, which is what I generally do. But yeah, I am I am hyped for, for them coming out. It's nice... To, oh, jeez, my map is just permajacked. I didn't, I didn't even realize that. That's interesting. So using the portal is real bad. Um... But I, I am looking forward to them. I, I want to play the Stone Shard demo. I just haven't had the time. Because, like, the problem is beating Moonlighter is like a, a 20, 20, 30 hour ordeal. Which is kind of shocking. Oh, I should probably go for him. There we go. I can hit him through that. That. Man, what are, what are even collision physics? Okay, where's he gonna spawn in? Exact same place. Oh, ah, no, damn it. Okay, not great, not terrible. Uh, we have a bunch of decurses. We don't actually have a whole lot of things to decurse. Works for me though. Uh, let's see, we've got. As hilarious as it sounds, it's actually really, really tempting to um. Uh, to just decurse one of the decursifiers. Uh, just so I can stack it down. I might do it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, if I read this one, I've read this one. Yeah. We keep hitting the third floor, but I keep uh, backing out before I actually fight the boss. Right. Map's useless. Oh, it's not a big deal. I mean, I've got 400 base HP plus however many uh, temp bits of temp HP I can carry with me. not realize this guy got loose or as loose as he did but well, we're good okay and like I said I'm charging charging straight for the exit here there we go uh, let's see over here no we're not we're not at the exit yet Let's decursify. Oh, I can't decursify it. Okay. Switch. Switch. We'll get some pipes. Just uh, offload some of our resources. I know I could maybe, like, um, Tetris some of these things down more, but I'm more interested in just dumping the resources. Also, for some reason, the merchant pendant got really cheap after I portaled. Wonder why. Okay, is this it? So this is, I think, the boss. Either that or the the uh, the dun the desert desert dungeon is a lot. <coughs> ah, it was a lot deeper than the other ones. Oh, I guess we're about to find out. We boss time or next floor. No. Have I always just been on the wrong floor? Okay, now I'm on De Desert Dungeon 3. Holy crap, I misjudged everything. Well, that makes this harder. I was really hoping I could just, um, beeline for the end here. No, nope, can't hit them. I will say, though, uh, I really do find the, uh, the later levels to be much more interesting. Uh, in terms of, like, enemy design, like, these guys have been so much more fun to fight uh, than the 
than the ones in the first dungeon. Part of that might also just be because I'm using my bow a lot. Um, but I just, I don't think I really enjoyed fighting the, um... I don't think I enjoyed fighting, uh, the enemies in the very first dungeon. Period. Oh! They felt cheaper somehow. These guys just feel punishing. And I'm hitting the nothings again. I'm back for me. Uh-oh. I forgot. There's a little bit of a kickback on the bow. Come on. There's like a very small window between hitting the wall and hitting the pillar there. And you'd think, you'd think the player character would have uh, just a smidge of accuracy. You do 50 damage. Alright, whatever. Okay. I could always warp back again. I mean, I'm certainly making the money for it. Uh, let's see. Dump you. Dump you. That might just portal. Let's see. This here. This is more important for me to uh, finish finish this than it is to make money, at least on this round. Yeah, whoever uh, whoever did the art for this game, though, like I know I have my complaints about the gameplay, but the art the art has always been very satisfying to look at. I think we're gonna go right to the uh, the boss door, and then I'll probably uh, portal back, and then we can go and fight. Give me, give me. Nope. I guess I can't. Why did I do that? Uh, let's see. Yeah, we didn't have. We don't have any specific days that I'm supposed to be looking for here. It's so weird. The, the whole calendar system, I keep expecting this game to have, um, uh, to have a Stardew Valley levels of something. Ow. And I think it kind of has surprised me consistently that the only times you ever actually have to worry about the calendar is, like, um, is when you have a quest due. I honestly thought the quest system was going to be much more substantial than this. But it never was. How's the moonlighting going? You're making a lot of money. I, it's bugged out on me a little. A lot, really. I lost a lot. I'm mad. Just a little. Okay, uh, let's pop this over here. Because I should be able to stack these cores. Okay. I've also got a bunch of cursed things, so I can... At the very least, decurse them. There we go. Okay, and we found the right direction. Damn thieves are really efficient. Okay, we, we've already read this. I swear I was on the third floor earlier, but I guess I was wrong. I'm just gonna be over here. The, uh... His, like, fairy things can't hit me. Yep. if I'm behind walls. Makes my life a rather convenient for scumming these guys. They're mostly a problem if you have no cover to deal with. Game's bugged out. Not really surprising considering your history with it. Yeah. I just like, that was months ago. You'd really think some of the, some of the bugs would have gotten ironed out, but sh shockingly very few were. What am I even... What do I even have selected there? I was, like, picking... I don't know. I was picking something up. Okay, so what do we got from you? Very little, actually. Anything else to stack? I really wish... really wish things would stack more than just ten. Okay. 
Yeah, this is this is where those rolling cube things get dangerous because I have no cover to avoid their their little fire demons. Mainly, just have to hit it until it dies. Oh, piss! Might have to just heal tank through this one. Okay. Oh, damn it. Okay. Well, we did fine. We get another heal healing potion. And that's, that's the boss. So we're going to... Yeah. I'm low on time. I'm not low on money. I'm gonna go back for some HP and we're gonna go fight this boss. Unless that means there's another floor. No, it's not. That is, that is most definitely a boss there. Have I gotten the infinite invincibility bug yet? No, I haven't. I think they fixed that one, at the very least. I, I no longer shoot arrows from my face. That was a bug. A weird bug. Okay, and we want... Nope, we're stacked up on healing potions, so I think I'm just good. Hey, thank you, Living Ted, for the sub. Okay. Uh, I've got all of the healing I could possibly bring with me. Because yeah, once I once I hit the next tier, then I can start worrying about money. Either going to the the uh, desert, farming the desert desert dungeons more, or anything else. Before the mimic decides to come after me. Night. Okay, there we go. Hello, thing. Oh, good. Oh, it's a snake. 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 Oh, shit. I didn't realize I was playing Gungeon all, all of a sudden. And yet, here we are. I don't see him. I have lost him. Ow? That hit me? I have an idea. Okay. These little fire wisps are scary biz. Here's a question. Nope, he's going too fast. He's loose. I can't seem to do anything to him. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh, ow. Well. Oh. Yeah, the problem is, we've gone full bullet hell on this boss. I'm very glad I've switched over to ranged, ranged attacks as trying to fight this guy. Trying to fight this guy in melee, it'd probably suck. Okay. Fighting him in range is working out fairly well except for the fact that he's hugging my butt and I can't do anything about it. Okay, let's heal up. Ow. My arrow is just like, the boss is over there. No. Okay, so I'm just gonna fire charged homing arrows down this direction. Okay, he's... Nope, he's somewhere around here. Oh, did he split? I'm just gonna keep firing these off, because they seem to be doing horrible things to him. Uh, boss? This is one of those where the screen should probably pan out a little bit. I've kind of lost him. Oh, it's just his head at this point. I don't even care. I don't even know what he's doing. I, it doesn't bug me. But yeah, we were <laughs> that was straight up the Amaconda. But we had healing potions, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it would have been a tight fight if I hadn't healed, but it would have been okay. Alright, so we get a bunch of cores. Luckily, the lava from the Amaconda's head does not actually harm me. Grab all the goods. Naja joltings. Huh. Or jottings. My bad. 
Anyway, there's another dungeon down. One more to go. Two more to go, technically. With the sword, you can spin inside the C formations and hit them like eight times. Okay, I could actually see that. But Bo certainly made it a lot easier. I just had to hang out in the distance and just... Pshoo. All right, one key left. Another guardian defeated. Another lock upon the fifth door open. You just refuse to listen to reason. What if you don't come back next time? I'll tell everyone. I warned him, told him it was foolish. Just, just appreciate what you have, Will. You have a great shop worth being around for. I noticed a new expansion on the board. With a shop that large, you can employ an assistant around the place, even if she's completely useless and steals your shit. The town is also allowing entry into the tech dungeon now. I'd warn you not to enter, but why start listening now? I'll be on my way. No need for an old man's rambling, I suppose. Gonna just go die in a ditch somewhere. See ya, you ungrateful brat. It does kind of feel like he knows something. Anyway, oh, and the UI is bugged out again. Great. I think I'm just going to go deposit stuff. And uh, come back to this tomorrow or something. When it hopefully feels like behaving. Oof. Oof. I kind of wish the journal would actually talk about the character's, like, thoughts on things instead of being like, yes, here's a diagram of how I can get into the door. Oh, that's okay. 